Right, a very small video. I, didn't, I wasn't going to bother doing any videos until I got to Velvet Bottom. I've just climbed up a nice sort of cool but steep climb from Cheddar Gorge up to get up here. The, I'm on the north side of the gorge at the moment. Over there you can see the south. It's a very hazy day. Um, the possibility of showers and possible rumbles of thunder, but only possible in this area. Uh, the plan today, I think it's the 5th of July 2018, and uh, I'm just we've got a day off from the World Cup. This is the second day. Yesterday turned out to be when I went, so I actually drove somewhere uh, near the Quantock Hills, and um, I went to a church called St. Mary the Virgin at East Quantock's Head, and uh, it just started to pour with rain. The plan was to do a bit of coastal walk towards Kilve and all that, so that's something I've got to go back to. Um, it didn't brighten up till the evening, actually, so I didn't want to walk it in the rain. I didn't have enough waterproof clothing either. Basically, I only um, had the umbrella. That's a, that was all I had. And, of course, I'll wear here, so... But today, I thought, well... I'm not going to drive off anywhere today. I'll just do a local walk, which I wanted to fit in anyway. As you know, I do this walk all year round Cheddar Gorge. It's the gateway to the Mendip Hills. But it is very, very grey in many places because um, it's, it's hot. World Cup starts up again tomorrow with the first of the quarterfinals. England are playing. Oh God, who are they playing again? I can't remember to tell the truth, but I know they're they're playing quite. A, oh, Sweden! Yes, they're playing Sweden, which will be a battle. Sweden are very disciplined, experienced, and have true Viking spirit. So whether England can match that, I don't know. Um, apparently, the conditions are going to be really hot really hot. They've been training a thousand miles away in a cooler area. So when they get off their coach, they're going to be hit by intense heat, and which they've got to play in. I don't know whether Sweden have already got there and acclimatised a bit. So, but they are a good team, England. They seem to be very much together. They are working as a team. There's no outstanding stars. There's nobody wanting to be the star. So, although, obviously, Harry Kane's a striker and he often takes the, makes the goals. But it's the others that prepare him to take, to be in that position. It's a whole team thing, but the one who scores always seems to get all the headlights and the golden boot. But uh, to me, it's the whole team. And um, I am glad they've left certain people out. I'm glad they've left. I'm not going to mention who they are. But I'm glad some people aren't in it. Unless they have to bring them in for emergencies. Mainly because they might be too dominating. And they could ruin the flow. That's what I think. Um, now we have got one person who's usually pretty good, but he's suffering with some sort of injury at the moment. Vardy from Leicester City. He's uh, got a problem, um, which he picked up at the end of the game. He couldn't go in for the penalties because of it. So, um, anyway, I'm out on a walk. But it's a reflective walk, and I've got lots of these I don't even show, because there's so many of them. They're like a diary for myself, really. And uh, so that I can look back and think what was happening at the World Cup in four years' time, when I'm 100-odd, if I get to that stage. I'm doing all I can to keep fit. Alright, we just have one more look over here. There's people ahead. 
people ahead. <sighs> Let's have a look. Yeah, there's the gorge, look. Over and out. 